Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how to uh, show the corresponding data when you select some uh, uh, text in the combo box, how to show the corresponding data into a line edits. And we are connected to the SQLite database. So these values are from the SQLite database. These are the employee IDs. And when I select some employee ID, the corresponding data to the employee ID for example his name surname or age which is there in the SQLite database should appear here in this video I will show you how to do the same thing with this table view so for example I select some cell in the table and I want to show the corresponding data for example I choose employee ID 3 2 then his name which is John and his surname and its age should appear in these text boxes okay so it's a, the code is little bit different from the last code because here we have multiple indexes in the table so let's see how we can achieve our goal so I will close my application first and this is my table view I will right click my table view and I will select go to slots and in here I will select this first function called activated here and I will select it and click OK and I reach to this table view activated event and in here I'm going to uh, use the code which I have written in last time because it's almost the same code which I'm going to use with little changes so if you don't know how I have written this code just watch the last video or otherwise I explain uh, the code in the, this video so you don't have to worry about this so in the first line we will uh, take the index of uh, the text box or uh, table so we will transfer the index which we have selected from the table view to the string q string variable so i will write q string and give it a variable name for example where is equal to ui then i will select my table view name table view and then i will select the model of that table model and then I will select the data and here I will pass the index of uh, the table so just copy this index from this function argument and pass it here and then write not here but after this bracket dot to string so what this line of code will do is it will take the index which we have selected from the table view and it will convert this index and take the value from the index and transfer it into this qstring variable and then the rest of the code will remain same so just I declared uh, the login class object to open and close the connection then I will check the connection if it's open and uh, if it's open then once again I open the connection I prepare a query QSQL query variable and then I prepare in the next line I will prepare a query so here I'm going to change a little bit this query because the index of table can be two dimensional earlier in the case of uh, the combo box the indexes were one di dimensional okay and here the indexes are two dimensional so you can choose employee id or the name or the surname or anything in the table and it should show the corresponding data in the line edits so our uh, query would be select star, star from your table name where your column name is equal to this value which we are taking from the table view so 
select star from a table name where your database column name is equal to the value which we have here and then after that we will write or we need to write a condition and then whatever other columns you want to uh, uh, show the values corresponding to the other column for example I want to show the value according to the name or the surname or the age so what I will do is or name is equal to single quote and uh, the double quotation and plus plus and I will pass the same value which we have taken from the table view so here we are writing all condition because we can choose we will be able to choose from the name column or name cell or the employee ID cell so I will just copy this or condition two time more or or and where surname or the age right age so we can now be able to choose in the table view uh, the employee table column cell or the name to column cell or the surname column cell or the age column cell okay so just change the query like this select star from table where this first column and then pass the value which we were taking from the table same as for the other columns and then we execute the query and if it's executed whatever value we are getting we are transferring it to the line edits this I have explained it in the last video and once you are done with the querying just close the connection with the database or if your query is not executed it will show the error so this is the whole code I am using you can just pause and copy the code also and now I will just build the program and run the program once again and it's successful username and password I load the data and now whatever cell I select the corresponding value should come here let me open the database so we can verify so I choose employee ID 2 cell so let's see double click it and here you can see employee ID 2 corresponding data comes here now for example I select name column and this cell which has the name Peter double click it and the corresponding data come here and I select some cell in surname also and the corresponding data comes here and the age also so and the corresponding data to the age also comes here so you can choose any cell from name employee ID surname and age column and the corresponding data should be there in these line edits so this is the way you can achieve your goal to show the values in the line edits and that's it for this video please keep watching these videos and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now